Hello, my name is Jonas Jensen, and my partner's name is Lucas Bonner. We have an assignment about um, Scotland and Brexit, um, and our main topic is Brexit and the relationship between Scotland and England. We have four questions that we want to interview people in, uh, in Scotland. Uh, our four questions is, what do you think about Brexit? Number two. How do you think Brexit will affect Scotland? Number three, do you think Scotland will, will be independent of Great Britain in the future? And our last question, how do you think Brexit has changed the relationship between England and Scotland? The main reason why we chose this topic is because it's very relevant for today's international situation to know more about how the enrolled countries uh, think about Brexit. Uh, but the most important thing is to ask the citizens of Scotland so we can hear more a more like informal answer which can help us make a conclusion about Brexit. In our interviews, uh, we want to ask different ages, different genders and different social classes. Uh, the reason why we will ask so many different people in society is because we want to get as many answers as possible so we can have a total picture of the Scottish population's opinion about Brexit. And who are we? Uh, th this is like what we want to say to the people we meet in Scotland, uh, the interviews. And we are two students from Denmark, and we are studying at the Elsinger Gymnasium. We are on a study trip to Scotland, and we have an assignment to do. Therefore, we want to include you. We have worked with Brexit for the last month, and now we want to know about what you feel about Brexit. Would you mind to answer four questions about Brexit and the relationship between Scotland and England? The first person we asked was a businessman called Jack. Uh, on the busy streets in Edinburgh, we ran into a businessman called Jack. He wore a suit and he was a bit busy, but we got to talk to him for like two minutes. First, we asked him what he thought about Brexit. Uh, he said that Brexit, that Brexit was a stupid thing, especially for him and Scotland. He said that he was convinced that Great Britain uh, would get a no deal with the European Union. Because of that, it would affect Scotland's economy and the business opportunities. Because he was a businessman, he wasn't interested in that. Um, he said that every Scot would be £2,300 per, per year. Uh, then we asked if uh, we could ask him uh, one more question, but he said that he was busy and we thanked him for his time. We asked four citizens of Edinburgh um, and we got uh, four totally different ans answers. So that's um, very good to see the per perspectives from different sides and the Brexit from different sides. And, um, and, and that also shows that Scotland are very derided um, about Brexit and the consequences um, from Brexit. Um, the first night we asked um, the local t taxi driver and his name was Edward and he, he was born in Scotland and more precisely in Edinburgh. Um, he has been a taxi driver in Edinburgh for more than 20 years and also was he a father of two girls. We interviewed him in on our long, um, I think it was like 20 minutes long taxi tour from Centrum to the, to our hotel. And we got a lot of an understanding about um, about the people who, who want Brexit and why they want Brexit so bad. And he said that he was very happy about Brexit because he thinks that the EU is is too dominant and they and therefore he wants more independent for independence for Scotland. Um, he feels like it's a problem that Scotland cannot have any army for themselves or think like with them permission from EU. However, he knew that Scotland would be very affected economically about Brexit. But to that he added that money is not everything and there's more than just money. And he and he think nation the national feeling is more important than money itself. Um, but he also thinks Scotland should be independent of Great Britain because he thinks Scotland should be an independent country um, and not be uh, um, held down uh, by the Westminster. 
um, but he said that he thinks it is mindless how um, how the Brit Britain um politicians uh, rea reacts on Brexit nowadays, and he thinks that it would be a terrible situation if it's going to be a hard Brexit. But that's just reality, and they have to react out of reality. And yeah, and then um the second day we we met um on the street we met a police officer called Sam, and we was downtown and we he was um. 25 years old and originally from Glasgow, where he was born. And we were excited to know what a police officer thought about Brexit. And he said that he was very d d divided because for sure he respected um, the fact that the most people from England want to leave um, the EU. And he thinks that's totally fair. But he was also a little bit that he wouldn't respect if it was going to be a hard Brexit. Fundamentally, he thinks... Mm, that Great Britain is a good f uh, federal state, but he also thinks hard Brexit would be an end of um, of Scotland's history as a part of Great Britain. But he thought the relationship between Scotland and England is very good, but it could be affected very much about um, a hard Brexit. Then we also want um, uh, we want um, to ask him his per perception of a general opinion in Scotland about Brexit. But suddenly he and his college uh, colleague. It was rushing away because of a call from the control center. Um, then we asked um, our last person was a homeless um, girl called Lena. One day we came out from McDonald's after an absolutely wonderful meal. <laughs> then a homeless girl called Lena was sitting outside begging for money. We gave her five pounds and asked her about Brexit. And... And, and and we got very surprised um, because she knew so much about Brexit and politics. She also says that she thinks uh, the EU is a wonderful way to collect countries and together go against a new and more peaceful um, world and have more peaceful values um, employed. Um, therefore, she was, very, she was very sad about Brexit because she thinks the EU was a bright thing in her otherwise chaotic life. She also was worried about the effect on the economy a hard Brexit will have in the future. But she said she hopes for a soft Brexit and still believe in that. Um, when we asked her about her the relationship between Scotland and England, she said that she wants Scotland to be independent of Great Britain. Um, she thinks that the Westminster government um, do not... Um, uh, do not do enough um, to get people off the streets and away from poverty um, as she is in.